direction. Mark. 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 Show Where's the cold open? Action what? Show, show started action. Yeah, I know it started, and you're supposed to be hitting the cold open. Why? Where? Why? Where is that? It's I. I left the drive at home. I left the drive at home because I was late. Yeah, I know you're. I, and right. So I know you're late. And why are you bringing the drive home? Why are you doing that, Mark? Talk to uh, me. I'm not binary. Okay, Mark. That's not an. Ex- okay, that I, that's not an excuse for not not doing your job, right? So I don't feel safe. Mark, okay, so I know, Mark, I know you're not non-binary, and I don't think you should be using that as an excuse for screwing up your please, work. Please stop erasing me. Okay, okay, no, 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 Mark, I'm not erasing you. This could be trouble for you. Right, Mark, I, okay, so you're, Mark, you're in trouble because you're not just doing your job, right? So you're just supposed to do what you're supposed to do. That's what you said you would do. Please call, please call me they. Okay, Mark, I'm, I'm going to, I'll call you. Those they. Right, so Mark. Honestly, just can you see where you're going? No, Mark, 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 Mark. Look at me. Come here, Mark. They they need to. You just they need to. I was like, because there's two of us, and okay. So all the more reason why you should be getting everything right because there's two of you. You should do twice as good of a job. Do you have the song? Two people had to get ready. You just need to hit the intro song. Just need to hit the intro song. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. What's the guess. What? I yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll have the song. Okay, good. Yep. Wait. Just cl- I don't have the, I don't have the song. You don't have the song. It should be right there. Oh, you don't have, what? I shoot my show alone in my house. They said I was too offensive. Good evening and welcome to At Home with Sly Stallone. Starring me, Sylvester Stallone, and my good friend Kurt, who lives in my converted garage. And now it's time for At Home with Sly Stallone. You know? Yo, yo, yo. What's going on there? It's been a while, that audience. Been going through some stuff, which uh, you may have heard about. I want you to know I got your beautiful messages of love and well wishes from you, ladies and Stallonians, asking you how I'm doing after my divorce. And I thank you for those. I momentarily had to stop punching, but I'm back doing just fine, all right? That out of the way, let's do some diary. Start this show off right. Excerpts from my diary. All right, let's get that diary. We always start the show with a diary because it just, it cleanses the palate and gets us off to a nice start. This diary entry is from April 3rd, 1989. Today, I met a girl named Jennifer Flavins. I'm 42, and she's 19, a.k.a. perfect. I already know she's the one, so I'm not wasting any time, diary. I've already decided to take the next step. Can you guess what that is? I'll give you a hint. Sinatra once sang that this and love go together like a horse and carriage. That's right. I'm getting a giant tattoo of her face on my shoulder because this love is forever. P.S. Did you know if you remove a bat from your house, you have to take it at least 10 miles away or it will find its way back to your house? (laughs) It's a crazy world. Keep on punching. Oh, how about that diary? Let's bring in our little Kerpel friend here. Kerpel? Hey, Sly, you, you those like gla- that diary or what? Yeah, are you going to wear your glasses the whole time, though? I know you had to read your diary, but... I had to read my diary. They you know, just like look crazy. It just glasses. makes your eyes look crazy. My eyes look totally normal. Oh, well, listen, I'm glad that... you crazy. Maybe you're the crazy one. Oh, oh, you know? uh, listen, Sly, I don't even want to get off on my foot because I want to tell you that I'm proud of you. Like oh, you, you... Oh, yeah, there he is. You um you handle you're handling this divorce pretty good, dude, aren't you? Yeah, you know, it's like uh 
I just want to say, you know, me and Jennifer, we're adults and uh, we're friends. We're moving forward. Uh, we got kids, you know, and uh, we're remaining friends. As mature adults, we move forward. That's all. All right. That's great, man. Well, can I tell, hey. tell you, honestly, and I, I'm sincerely like, I think it's really like uh, inspiring how and you got a lot of class how you handle it because I can't even imagine, Thank dude. Because you. you were together like, like 25 years, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, dude, I had a, my ex, we were 10 years and, and I was destroyed when we broke up, dude. I mean, like, it felt like somebody took my organs out and left me in a tub of ice and, and it like didn't stop for years. Like, you would think the pain would let up after a little bit, but no, it just kept going, dude, like every day. And I would be like, seriously, I'm going to still feel this pain all the time. And then I would think I was over it and I would have dreams about her. And then, oh, I mean, we weren't even, we don't have any assets. We weren't even married. So that was just the emotional problem. I can't even imagine all those assets. You got to go through all that, all that bullshit. And then, you know, don't try, just try not to think about who she's going to be banging because you're single now. If your ex is hot, which she is, I mean, I can't even stand when I think about my ex, dude. But you, the circles you travel in, that's like, she can meet Pete Davidson. I mean, she's the exact right age. And I know Pete Davidson. He don't hit on. It's not like he's aggressive, but like the women just go for him, dude. And I'll tell you something else. When I was in New York doing comedy, word on the street was he has a huge cock for real. Like, anyway, I, I just want to say I really respect you, you handle a lot better than I could, man. And I really look up to you. And I just want to tell you that. All right, let's do some yours. Let's have a great it's show. It's time for a yo. All right, everybody, let's do some yo's. Come on, let's start this thing off with some yo's, which is always yo. the best way. Squirrely Shirley, Squirrely Shirley got a yo in there. Beautiful. Come on, get them yo's up there. I want to see some yo's around Jordan the Alexander. world. Yo, Luke Vaughn. Look at that. Eric, Eric Clark, Clark, yo. Ethan yo. Saunders, yo. Supreme Star Hawk, yo. Rolling Dick, yo. James Rose, yo. Asia Hydra. Oh, a question, yo. Yo. Yo, so yo, 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 Jeroka, uh, George yes, Skeptic, yes, Susan, yes. yo, Potter Builders, yo, Nick Clett, yo, Mr. D, yo, yo, yo. Right. Grip's got some yo power tonight. Yeah, I was that inspired, was man. All right, look at them yo's, beautiful yo's around the world. Yo. Hey, you know, I want to uh, thank the members for uh, and the people watching and everything for supporting the show. As you remember, uh, the other week we showed... Uh, the money that YouTube is blessing us with here. Look at that. <laughs> we made right. that $29, as you remember. You right. Know? Do <laughs> and uh, we have a new, we have a, a, a new video with a uh, new amount of money. Oh. And I will say, I will say this. <laughs> it is more money. Oh, that's great. You ready? Yeah. Nice. $44. That's progress, dude. Views. You don't now. Do you, do we keep all that, or do you have to split it? Because it the is, they, they take thirty percent. and There's some taxes involved, but in general, I mean, that's a that's a cup of coffee. It's called. It's still yeah. It's, it's progress. Starbucks, maybe a tea. It's Starbucks, small tea, but uh, I don't sure get one. why is this? This is a hundred sixty-eight thousand twenty-nine dollars. This is a hundred twenty thousand forty-four dollars. What gifts? That makes no sense. Oh yeah. How do we get know. more money, less views? Maybe they want to pay you, pay us to stop. Oh, we should check into that. I never thought of that. Look at this yeah. Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Colonia's out there for serious lie. All right, thank yeah. you for that. Everybody's you behind you. You sustain me. You Scalonian sustain. That's sustain cool. Because it is brutal. It's got to be brutal what you're going through. Like, I'm all right. I'm doing all right. And by the way, speaking of money, we have an advertiser, which I want to have oh. everybody support. All right? This is the advertiser. Let's get him in here. Look at this. Brand new advertiser, JimTaylorMotors.com. Oh. Jim Taylor Motors. This guy is in Montana. Fort Benton, Montana. Birthplace of Montana. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, I guess it's yeah. It's a car lot? They sell cars? They sell cars, and oh, nice. uh, they're supporting the show, uh, today's show. I mean, I guess you got to be in Montana. I don't know how many Scalonians listen to the show, but maybe there's like six or seven in Montana. Right. You know, that's in Montana. Right. I guess you got to be like in this area where the uh, 
So if you're in this area, right? What's that? Probably like one Scalonian I'm talking to. If you're the Scalonian who lives right there, yeah, go on down to Jim Taylor Motors and buy yourself a car. Well, I mean, so they have a the website. We you probably get the website there. You think it's just you have to only be there? I, I why would you have a website then? I don't know. Does jazz? Does jazz? Um, was, you can actually you can ship. Montana. Huh? You can you can ship they can ship a car to you from anywhere um, in that's the United States. Be, ship a car that sounds heavy. Oh, that's, that makes more sense. Um, How do you ship a car? They, do, they can just do drive it. it to a place. You, ship yeah. you drive it to a boat that ships it. What um we on a ship? Ship, or, uh, his mic is crazy. Is it too loud? Um, yeah, yeah no, mic's crazy. Better. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Oh, these are the cars. Uh, these are the cars. Look at that Dodge Challenger. Ah, 5.7 liter Hemi. I had a 5.7 Hemi once. Took a fistful of preparation age on that. Did What do you mean? Did you, um? oh, you didn't lose it, right? In the thing? No. Okay. This is a Dodge Challenger. The, the only challenge is getting some pussy in that car, right, Kurt? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You'll get pussy if you get this car. I, I mean, or you could be a woman. Yeah. Look at this. This is a special car here. The four, This is a rare car here. Yeah. So go on down or just order it online anywhere in the world. Jim Taylor Motors. Isn't that great? We got a sponsor. There's this number. There's everything. Yeah, it's great. Fun. It is great. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. I'm doing good. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm uh, upset about. Did you remember uh, Erwin Winkler? Yeah. He produces Rocky. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, so he's still got the rights. And this is really pissing me off. This is a guy right there, this clown right there. Yeah. Never gave he's like 95 years old. What's he gonna do with that money? You know? Like yeah. golden diapers. So I was trying to get the rights back and he wouldn't give them to me. And uh producers don't do anything. Do you know that? I did I, I I've been doing I, I've been in business twenty years. I still don't I think I am a, I'm in the producers guild. I don't even know what how what I yeah, did. They don't they don't do anything. Kerb's in there. Kerbson, my producer. So there you go. I have no idea what I did to be a producer. Members get to see the after party. That's fun. So anyway, I I I said I'm gonna make my own project. You know, because of divorce, I got some time, and I threw myself into work. Something you should try when you're feeling down. You throw yourself into work. So I made a documentary. It's a serious documentary, all by Scalone self. Okay, no producers. I consulted no one. Yeah, I consulted no one. That's great, man. It's like a productive way to spend your time. Yeah, it's a timely thing uh, that uh, this movie's coming out. It's coming out in a, a few weeks. And here's a little clip. Here's the intro. September 11, 2001. The sun was shining. People were hustling and also bustling. They had no idea that September 11th would be the day they got 9-11. <laughs> the day we got 9-11. <laughs> So it starts off with a, you know, mm -hmm. what are you laughing at? This is mm -hmm. very serious. I am crying. Matter. It gets me. I was in New York, so it was making me a little bit too. I was there. Anyway, anyway, I did that by I did that myself. That's the yeah. intro part. And there's is there more? Part. Yeah, there's another okay. part. Good. I don't know what's wrong with you. Now. Eric Clark, five dollars. I'm sorry, I made mean comments about Kerpel. Please forgive me. <laughs> I didn't know he did that. Yeah, he said I was twisting the knife about your divorce. I, 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 I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to show you this other part, Kerb. Don't why? Don't don't pick it apart or anything. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Don't like just like watch <laughs> well, it. I'm not going to pick it apart. Just watch it. All right. Hold on. Here's the other part. Just get on. This. this comes out in a couple of weeks. I made this all by myself. Consulted no one. Hey guys, what was that? What was that bunny that was on there? Yeah. What was that? Hey guys, I oh, got, got my sheet oh, underwear. Nice. Oh, yeah, she won the sheet underwear at the after party. We give away free things at the after party. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to use the, the like the dick hole on it. We, women could use it. Yeah. Here's the other part. Miami, American Flight 11 entered New York City airspace and 9 11, the first tower. <laughs> but moments later, like an hour, the second tower was also 9 11. The next building victim was the Pentagon. They just got the Pentagon. It's official, <laughs> sir. We're getting 9-11. I said, sure. 
They just got the Pentagon. It's official, sir. We're getting 9-11. All that's left now is an upside down water fountain and the names of the fallen at the 9-11 memorial. You know? What is your problem? I'm sorry, I'm emotional because uh, I was remembering 9-11. Very strange reaction. I know people will deal with grief different, but that is a very strange reaction to a very know, serious film that I made myself by myself. Just give me a second, and I'll be okay. All right, Curb. I know this would make him sweat. It is an emotional thing. It's emotional. Curb's crying. I guess it is a good film. Yes? So, what is it, baby? I, I was just wondering... Uh, why was why isn't is that girl holding headphones to the microphone? What what I don't she's no she's in it she's had what is she talking about? No, she had a we didn't have I don't maybe that prop was Were you wrong. simulating like Pearl Harbor? Was that supposed to be she was a Pearl Harbor? Yeah, I didn't the microphone thing, so, but you can't really tell. So do and this is the other thing. Are you saying uh nine nine eleven that's yeah. the is the because day that's the action of 9/11. I mean, you d yeah. I mean, I I thought you got it was pretty thorough. What's wrong with saying 9/11? All right, that's what it was. We got 9/11. When is this coming out? A couple of weeks. 9/11, September 11th. Oh, <laughs> you're releasing it on 9/11? Yeah, yeah. My yeah. great YouTube uh, release it. All right, should we do the pick me up? What are we gonna do? I don't know. You would, you were. Uh, hey, by the way, uh, you know, I, I I didn't mean Talk nothing with that. Uh, what? I, like I shouldn't say that guy that that Stoney was right. Like I shouldn't have even brought up that Pete Davidson thing. Like I was just watching like Kanye going crazy, and I was like, you know, I like like just ignore that. Like you know, I shouldn't. That was like insensitive. So just so you know, like I doubt you. I doubt your wife's gonna second. meet him. Hold on one second. No, she uh, she met him on the on the set. Of the, the when I was the, played the shark tide in that movie, Suicide Squad. Oh, Suicide right, he was Squad. in that. She said she, she met said, him. Yeah, she said he's a cute kid. I was like, what? Hold on one second. Well, Hold on one second. Uh, hello. Hey, Pete. It's Slash Stallone. Oh, hey. Hey, Lizzie. Could you not fuck my wife? He's a giant cock and nothing. Oh, okay. All right, thanks. All right, so that's taken care of. Yeah, when you rest at ease. Yeah. Oh yeah, Let's when do pick me up? Maybe Kirby. I have suitor baller affect. I have suitor yeah, maybe you know what? That could be. It's just you know, sometimes Kirk, I get emotion too. Yeah, I know, man. It's hard. I I'm I know. That bitch left left me out of nowhere. It was cool. a surprise. All right. Let's just move on with the pick me up. Okay. All right. All Who's right. it? Who? Okay. This is John Stewart. You know John Stewart from the Daily Show. Is from he the okay? Daily Show. He needs a pick me up. He needs a pick me up. Yeah, he's getting Rocky. You can do it. Pick me ups. Yeah, he's getting hammered online pretty bad. This goes out to John All Stewart right. of the Daily. This Show. goes out to John Stewart, who is being viciously mocked on the internet because. He presented a medal to a guy with a Nazi tattoo at Disney World. What? I mean, Where's the picture? So what? Where's... Okay. Come on, baby. Okay. What? Really? I don't know. Where's the picture, baby? Hold I was on. Up Hold on. We have to start you, this. You don't see it? Now it's gone. Where is it? Okay, there it is. Now you don't oh see it. Oh my god, we gotta start this all over again. Come on, baby. All right, let's start it from let's take Where's it from the, the top. Snuff, What's that? We'll just take it from the top. Hey Kerb, guess who the pick me up is about today? <laughs> uh, it is John Stewart is the our pick me up. Oh, John Stewart of the Daily John Show. Is our pick me up. Yeah, let's tell you again. That's right. This pick me up goes out to John Stewart, who is being viciously mocked on the internet just because he presented a medal to a guy with a Nazi tattoo at Disney World. I mean, oh, so what? 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 Just because the guy is a veteran of the Nazi Azov Battalion <laughs> and also has a Nazi tattoo that automatically makes him a Nazi who shouldn't get a trip to Disney World and a medal from Jewish heartthrob John Stewart? Come on. Well, I mean, maybe you have any pictures of him. 
regret. I once got a tattoo of my bitch ex-wife on my shoulder. This guy got the black son of Himmler's SS. Wait, where's the picture of it? Oh, my God. The whole thing screwed up. There we go. Baby. What is what? Sorry. What the the hell is going on with this? Pick me up. I don't. You're not getting a medal from Jon Stewart like that Nazi did. No, that's right. What do we do, Kirk? Do we go from the middle? I don't Let's know how we cut this. Middle side audience. Let's yeah. hope that baby clicks some buttons. Here we go. <laughs> Put the picture of the ceremony up at least with the right. tattoo. Here we go. There we go. That okay, guy. I see what you're talking about. He's On the elbow he's there. Up a he's got a Nazi tattoo. People oh, think and that then... makes him a... Come on. We've Wait. all got tattoos we regret. I once got a tattoo of my big chef's wife on my shoulder. This guy got the black side of shameless SS. I covered it up. This pick me up is a disaster. Did she not do another picture, Kurt? What Uh, what drug do you want? (laughs) Baby, you can take drugs. You can't see the pictures? We rehearsed this for minutes tonight. (laughs) (laughs) I get it, baby. Pissing me off. Should we keep going, Kerb, or should we just call it a night? Keep night going. Show? Yeah, we keep on punching. This is a lesson to you, Stallonians. When things got you down, keep on punching. Hey, I fought alongside the Taliban in Rambo 3. <laughs> I even gave my best friend my Rambo knife to this <laughs> Taliban kid who later ended up hijacking a plane with it or something. Am I supposed to blame myself for that? By the way, check out my 9-11 I, for one, commend Jon Stewart for not doing any research on who he gives medals to (laughs) and consider it a mitzvah. If we've learned anything from the beautiful religion of Judaism, it's to forgive. (laughs) Is there any image more healing than the thought of Jon Stewart (laughs) hanging out with Mickey Mouse and a Nazi at Disney World. <laughs> I think not. Keep on push. Come on. Wow, John Stewart. How about that? Did any pictures come up? I was reading that. <laughs> My grandparents said Curb 9 on stage and they walked out. Yeah, Curb was... did. We did 9 on stage. Boy, we're going to get to that. That, that picture was a disaster, Curb. I know. I mean, yeah, we'll, I, we'll, we well, baby really then, put a medal on a Nazi with that one. Am I right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you just got zinged. You got zinged. I'm not going to let her answer. We'll just tell her things. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you really screwed up. And then she can't even fight back. So I just take it down. Oh, my God. That's the power of Scalone. <laughs> <laughs> you baby, you're a dirty rat. Ah, here it is. All right. We should probably do baby news. Want to do baby news? Yeah, let's, just, let's see what's on the news. And now it's time for baby news with me, lead anchor, Baby Jessica. <laughs> uh, I'm Baby Jessica, and this is baby news. Uh, accidental gun deck that's ticked up again this month to a 10-year high. No one knows this more than my best friend, Timmy. Talk about blue balls. The World's Strongest Man competition was held this past weekend. And here is our champion, Leonard Van Horn. We got it! Um, Mamma mia! I don't want to wear spaghetti in the the arms beginner. And finally, there's a recall of IKEA's latest line of luxury chairs. Oh, the huge manatee. That's the news. Have a goo goo day and a gaga tomorrow. And now it's time for baby news with me, lead anchor, Baby Jessica. <laughs> Baby Jessica's having a banner evening. Baby Jessica's having a banner evening. 
You know, that, to her, like her defense, she didn't know what any of the script was to last minute. She didn't know. Oh, I, I, well, you couldn't tell at all. You could not tell. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Jessica is having a banner evening here on this Kano show. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was Did we do what? we have to do a Cobra talk or something for some reason? Yeah, let's do a Cobra like, talk. Yeah, let's do a Cobra talk real quick. Cobra talk. All right, students, get your Cobra questions in. Remember, there's a question just about Cobra. Yeah. So I don't want any questions about Rocky or Rambo or you know, any of those other movies that were great. Um, right? I Can I have a, ask you a question about Cobra? Absolutely. Um, is your new... Uh, movie that's on Amazon, Samaritan, where you're like that retired superhero who's a garbage man. Is that in any way connected the storyline to he's not Cobra? A garbage man. He's he's a waste management employee. Right. What? The, but the point of the story is he he's hiding out and he's not being a superhero because he retired. Right. Like he's not made of garbage. He's not a garbage man like a Batman. He's not <laughs> garbage that, man. What is that offensive? You just said he's a garbage man. He's not. Oh, okay. He's a, he's a waste management person. Does well, Cobra get? Oh, let me answer your question, Kurt. What's the question? Oh, well, oh no, Vienticus Prime wanted to know if Cobra gets jealous of Rambo. Cobra doesn't get jealous of nobody. Some yeah. he's, he's more than a man. Yeah. Sometimes he's, a man will get jealous of things, but not Cobra. <laughs> he's a tough guy inside. Wait. Curb. Are you okay? Yeah. What's okay? Do you want to keep problem, going? You piece of shit. Well, uh, Sorry, Kirk. I got emotional and angry. That's not at you. Oh, Sky okay. won the underwear. That lady 9 11 that chair. She absolutely did. That was a lady? Yes, Kirk. That was a lady. <laughs> That's what ladies do now. This equal, something called equal rights curb. Fire is this enough for guys, curb. Ladies can blow out their asshole too. All right? Was Sexy. it the impact that did that? Sexist pig. Yeah, that's a lady. I think the impact jostled a gas bubble out of her. Did we get Maybe. any Cobra questions? I don't think we did. Okay. Are, Are you, you really, really the, the Cobra, Cobra dork? Dope? Shut up. Get that out of there. Who put yeah. that up? They put that up. What's the best of your slack jaw and win the Cobra bird? What? Kirk, you mean, that to me. Is he talking about your handicap from because they delivered you and the forceps paralyzed your face? Yeah, is they that... delivered me with, with salad tongs and they, they, they hurt a nerve. You need nerves in your face to make it go up and down. That's nice. Right. Did Cobra ever fight Rocky or Rambo? No, no. There, no. Would, there would be no fight. Okay. It would just be Cobra would take out a gun and, and shoot Rocky dead. Right. Rambo would probably kill Cobra, actually. That would be a nice yeah. movie. Three of them together. Rambo versus, versus Cobra, yeah. Versus, no, Rambo versus Cobra versus Rocky. Wait, so, put the last question back up. What that guy says say? It's something about Pete Davidson, baby. Vision of Cobra. Is vision coverage play? I don't, I can't read. Is right, vision okay. coverage part of your Cobra plan? Oh, oh, yeah. Yes, what? vision is covered, but there's a deductible of four thousand dollars. Oh, okay. All right, let's do the uh, let's do a diary. All right, call this a show. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been an interesting show. You can't say it has not been interesting. It really was. All right, let me just go out with a little right in my diary. This is how we end the show. We begin and we end. It's called bookends when you do this kind of thing. Uh, right. Today's show was a blast. I completely forgot about that selfish bitch whore that left me. Hey, diary, I replaced the tattoo I had of Jennifer with another bitch. Also, where's the, where's the picture? Don't worry about it. Baby's not putting any pictures up today. <laughs> also, there oh, it was is. a dog. Your dog, I see. Yeah. Also, there was some issues with John misgendering Mark tonight. I don't know where his fear and hatred derive from. He's been suspended without pay, though. And I hope. Yeah, Mark was clear. upset. Yeah. We don't tolerate that crap around here. I was told John, don't talk to them that way, you know? Yeah. He yeah, knows the guy's yeah. on binary. Yeah. So, anyway, that's the show. Guys, join us for the after party. 
Uh, right now, we're going to do that. Probably start in like 15 minutes. But I want to thank you Stallonians out there. Go to Kerb's website. Go to John Bush's website. Go to Baby's Got a New Channel. Check it all out. Thank you for supporting us. We love you very much. <laughs> and that's important to me that in this time I have the love of the Stallonians. That's a beautiful slide. Thank you. All right. Let's go out with some yo's. What do you say? Come on. Yeah. Come on, everybody. Yo, yo's sustain me. They it's keep- time for a yo. That's right. Yo, that's baby right. Mandy, yo. Yo, yo, two yo's from baby Mandy. Two punches. Oh, Ryan Bradley, yo, yo. Hey, we put yo's in the comments, too. Uh, alcoholic. It's the, the auto guy's place. Get some cars there, too. Come on. Oh, yeah. What, wait, it. what is it? Who is it? Jim Miller Auto? What's his name? Oh, nah, I gotta go click it. Can I... Oh, no, no, it's a good Jim, idea. Jim Taylor Motors. Jim, Jim Taylor, Taylor, go to Motors. Jim Taylor Motors. Get a car, you know. Support, Jim Taylor. All right, let's get them yo's up and go to the after party. Come on. I want to see some yo's around the world. Mitch, yo, Dennis, yo, Dennis, Beast Man's 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 yo, Canadian Joker, yo. Come on now, get that yo. Don't period. Mr. D, yo. Point, Move yo. on, yo. One back travel, yo. Ahmed Dog, yo, yo. Gen X, yo. Cosmo Bot, yo. Mark.